Good evening, I'm Bonnie B, and you're watching Video Wave. Tonight I'm talking to Kurt Kirkwood from the Meat Puppets. Um, we want to know where a band like the Meat Puppets come from, Kurt. From Phoenix, Arizona. And many other bands coming out of Phoenix, or um, you guys are unique? There's a few bands there. To yeah. the city. There's a lot of bands there, really. Anything that's coming out that we should be watching for? Uh, are well, you guys lots of jets in this from Phoenix. Yeah. Um, we Let's know about see. them. Uh, Mighty Sphincter is from Phoenix. JFA, we're originally from Phoenix. But you guys are the forerunners? Yeah. Of the whole scene? Yeah. How long have you been um, performing as the oh, There was people in Phoenix before us that yeah. influenced <laughs> us. They never made it out. They got to the L.A. But yeah, we were the first band that got out of there, I think, and it's been associated with the place pretty much. How long have you been doing it now? Uh, eight years, going on eight years. That's about. great. And so that would mean how many records at this point? Four. Great. The latest of which is Huevos. Is that right? Am I saying that correctly? Mm -hmm. And uh, you got to tell me what that means. No, it I'll means think. eggs. It means <laughs> eggs in Spanish. Can you tell me why? I guess we should listen to the song. Uh, well, it's a, a, it has a couple meanings. Uh, huevos is an expression you know used to to say it's kind of like hot spa or something like that. You know, it's a Sp it's a, a southwestern expression, not unlike hot spa or verve, and. Uh, it has to do with we recorded the album, you know, all in first takes uh -huh. and uh, all the vocals and everything, and then mixed it down. You know, it like took us like 40 hours, and uh, you know, and then, and then they, it fit together good because eggs can only be you know used <laughs> once. <laughs> That's and great. So it was, it's kind of like that. Mm -hmm. That's great. Did you record the record in Arizona? Mm -hmm. Are the recording studios out there? Yeah. I like to, I have a fascination, I keep referring back to Phoenix, but um, tell me a little bit what it's like living out there. And I imagine you guys playing shows outside under the stars. I mean, did you have, did you ever have parties, big parties outdoors in the desert? I mean, yeah. people in New York have a hard time imagining the cactus and the, uh, and the sand out there all the time. I mean, is it like that outside? Do you uh, have parties outside? And yeah, but once you've finished with that one of those kind of parties, it doesn't matter if you're in the city or in the, yeah, <laughs> in the desert. True. I don't think you know where much you are. True. You know, that's the, ob the party thing. It's, we, we go to the desert just so we wouldn't be observed by adults. <laughs> just to not not <laughs> so much to great. get away from, you know. I, love, I, I always loved the desert, though. I got to appreciate it a lot more as I got older, too. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a great place. So you've been out touring, though, so you've had a chance to see other parts of the country, and you still feel you're in the right place? Yeah. Really? Oh, going definitely. On, going on and out there? Yeah, I love it there. You've played all over uh, the country. Are you concentrating primarily on college towns? No. Uh, Not necessarily? No, we, we've always just done whatever we could get. Uh-huh. Yeah. Most recently, you played in the South? Uh, most recently, we played... Yeah, we did a Midwest tour, and then we came up to do the East Coast tour through the South again, sort of, starting in Alabama. That's great. Yeah. People responding to this new record, do they know about it out there, and can we find it in the record stores pretty much? Mm, yeah. It's yeah. on SST, so be watching for that one. Yeah. I want to take a look at uh, one of your videos now. Can you tell us uh, which one we might like to see? Uh, well, I guess it might be New Gods. Okay. Or, how about this? I'll start doing another one. I guess it might be Get On Down. You want to watch Get I'm, On Down? I'm not sure which one you, you, you oh, get. Well you can, anyone you want us to play. Okay. Uh, and tell, tell me about it. Well, Get On Down is probably the one you know, play. So, Get On Down we made with a guy from Manhattan here. He's, or he was living in Manhattan at the time, right across the street from CBGB, actually. And he, um, you know, we filmed it in our backyard and around our house and stuff, pretty much. It was based on a stupid dance that we made up. <laughs> Let's take a look at Get On Down from the Meat Puppets. Welcome back to Video Wave. You just looked at, tell him. Get On Down. From the Meat Puppets. Tell us, what is going on out there in the wild and wacky world of new music? How is alternative music faring these days? Uh, hedonistic escapism, um, you know, intimate 
artist audience relationships uh, of the sonic variety. <laughs> um, uh, it's a pretty, pretty lively scene, really. You Is know, it vital out there? Is it growing? Oh yeah, it's it's intense. It's more intense than it's ever been, and un more understood, more. Uh, it's better. The platform is better, you know, than it's ever been. It's it's really it's really getting to the point where it's, uh, uh, you know, being accepted. And I don't even think that it's bad as you know, more of just something you can hear as the, as something challenging. Right. And I don't know, maybe the music, you know, I, I never looked at this as being that challenging to tell you <laughs> the truth. I just, I mean, I hear it for what it is, and. Uh, my enjoyment of it has uh, stayed fairly consistent of what we do and what the scene has been like, but definitely I think that the uh, the audiences are there. Are they more opening than up ever. more? Yeah. Yeah, it's great. So that's really encouraging. It's out really there. great. I mean, like, it's it's fantastic. Last night after you know Charlottesville, I was just faint <laughs> from the how many from people exhaustion. Are you Sorry. How many people are you playing in front of approximately show to show? Just to get an idea of oh, how big you the know, clubs are. A few hundred to, to a thousand. It just depends on the size of the city, you know. In the bigger cities, you know, we can do about a thousand. And in the smaller towns, it's like anywhere from two to five hundred. <laughs> it's not a lot of people, but, you know, it's... Uh, it's never has been a lot of people in the underground, you know, that's as many people as you're going to draw up to a point that once it, I mean, that's the definition, that's the defining point essentially is how many people are coming. You know, once it gets to 10,000 people, that's big bucks and it's not underground anymore. And you're losing your intimate audiences as well. To a degree, the people in the back, yeah, but I think that the responsibility of the artist, you know, is uh, at stake at that point to be able to maintain the, the focus regardless of how many people there is to between the music you know and himself I don't think that paying that close attention to the audience is a relevant point in, in live music they give you the feedback after you've paid attention to the music you know I mean in, in as far as what we do uh, it's not like we ignore them or anything but they're uh, uh, I, f I feel as long as the sound is taken care of, mm -hmm. we're real attentive to tones and stuff, and as long as the, as, uh, the music is attended to, then things will work out. Do we dare call your music Americana, or do you choose to call it something else? Are there other influences that would help us best categorize what the meat puppets sound like? Um, I think that... Uh, we categorization outside of rock and roll is hard <laughs> you know it rock it started with rock and roll and then these branches began to grow and i think that the proliferation of branches is going to become so dense that it really means nothing eventually yeah. so i don't know i think we're world beat actually world beat i like that you guys can take over the world pretty much yeah i'm not i'm not i don't exclude any influence great. What's the future looking like for you guys? Uh, futuristic. Um. What's next? A new record? A new video? A new uh, touring? Well, we, uh, we've been working on a record and uh, may or may not be out at the time of this airing, uh, but we've been working on it most of the summer between touring and uh, don't know when we'll get it done. And, uh, you know, from there we'll just keep doing shows and, uh, you know, keep on cooking, cooking up the good <laughs> grub, keep the, f the food flowing out on those little plastic trays, <laughs> just like we always have. That's great. So that means you should be watching for the Meat Puppets because they may be coming to your town. I have to ask you one last question. What does it mean, Meat Puppets? Ask Howard Stern. <laughs> Has he made up a, an excuse? Are we all puppets um, of meat? Is that what you're trying to say? Uh, I'm trying to be a vegetarian. <laughs> oh, are you? Well, it's impossible. <laughs> trying. Be, you know, plants just don't have legs. They have no escape route. Mm -hmm. It's really rather it cruel to, to, to prey on something so 
so helpless. No, I don't know what a meat puppet is. It's it's a band. Yeah. It was a song. Yeah, you right? said it. Yeah, it was a song. We're puppets and meat. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, thought I, I found some profound meaning. Yeah, in you that can myself. find profound. You can find profane meaning in yeah, it too. Yeah, also. You can find do, a do lot people? of meaning in it. Yeah, do people? sometimes. Howard does. Well, I would Howard say about it. We all know Howard Stern here in New York. You have to tell us what. Oh, he's, he's just he's just one of the few few notables that have that picked up on the humorous side of it. You know, to a degree to the degree that that it should have been you know I mean you can everything profound has to have its balance right. you know that's why I like the name <laughs> you know I think it's real easy to figure it out anything that you say that's profane you're not talking about the plague you know does it scare people though no I don't think so people are are, are adult by the time they're two anymore <laughs> it's true thanks to television just like this video wave you're watching, this is Kurt Kirkwood from the Meat Puppets and I'm Bonnie B. Thanks a lot.